ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready for the first match. Again, this is Mr. Tubbs sitting beside me is Ken Stillwell himself, commissioner of Blue Collar Wrestling, old school, new class, and we've got Psycho Sailor coming out with two of the three Moonshine Brothers, the tag team champions, one of my favorite guys in BCW. Well, we all have our issues. Psycho Sailor's been around a long, long time. For him to take the Moonshiners under his wing is probably not the best thing for their young career. They should have sought somebody that would teach them the right way how to do things, how this business works, and what happens when you don't play by the rules. Well, that's one way of looking at it, but you can't argue with success, and the Moonshiners have definitely been getting better since they've been working and training with the Psycho Sailor. Well, I, I disagree. You can't argue with success. Because the way you get those wins tells, a, tells everything about your character. If you do it with your feet on the ropes, is, is tarnished. Well, I'll agree to disagree with you. In my time, I was known to play with the rules a little bit too, so. Now Psycho Sailor's getting into the ring here. Looks like the Moonshiners, I don't know if they're staying at ringside or not. If they do, referee T-Rex will definitely have his hands full. Terry Rex definitely has his hands full. Probably too much of that home brewed stuff from the Moonshiners. <laughs> That'll do it to you, too. I'm surprised he doesn't have a full head of hair. <laughs> no, that'll put hair on your chest, Ken. And here comes his opponent, wonderful Zach Winners. Zach Winners taking on Papa. I'm sorry, Psycho Sailor. I'll tell him you said that, Ken. He's a company ringside by Big Vicious. Former tag team champions, and I'm, I'm hoping to see them wearing those belts again soon. They added some class to it. They did a good job. Uh, and we haven't making the belts important. And we haven't seen these two together like this in a little while. I wasn't sure what that meant, but it looks like there's solidarity in the tag team. I'll give them that. I still have to wonder, though, as unstable as he is, how long can Zach Winters trust Big Vicious? Well, I think he can be trusted as, as well as you can trust any partner. But uh, Vicious is absent. He's been wrestling everywhere. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, the crowd loves Zach Winters. Can't really say anything for their taste, but they sure love him. And I don't know, I see a little monkey on monkey action going on over there with Vicious. Is that something we can show on TV? What the heck are you talking about? Look, he's got the, the pink monkey and the blue monkey in his hand. I don't know what they're doing. Well, the blue one is Bob. Now it looks like the Moonshiners and Big V are all staying at ringside. I, I wouldn't want to be. I wouldn't want to be T Rex doing this match by himself. This is uh, wow. I think it's going to be more than a challenge, Ken. Absolutely. Especially knowing how Psycho Sailor works. Yeah, I, I would agree. This could be rough on on T Rex. <laughs> Thank you. 
Look at the disrespect the fans show the Psycho Sailor and the Moonshiners. He's a respectable military man. He's a veteran. Come on. He may be a veteran, but he's done that uniform dirty. I'm a military man. I'm a retiree, not just a veteran. In war, sometimes you have to do whatever it takes to get victory, and that's what the Psycho Sailor does. I think I'm getting to understand you. Your hat's too tight. Let's get in the ring, Sailor. Oh, there's that one person in the audience Psycho really seems to be taking exception to. I don't know what she's saying, but he sure doesn't like it. I'm surprised they're not all screaming Popeye yet. Or, uh, you know, lives in a pineapple under the sea, Psycho Sailor. the match starting here, folks. Nicely cut by Shaq. Takes the tie up and goes right down to the leg. Starts working the left leg of Sailor. Well, it is showing some smarts from Zach Winters. Psycho Sailor brawling oh. is his thing. You take out his legs, that's going to make it harder for him to do what he does best. Everybody's the same size lying on their back. And those are muscles that are terribly, terribly easy to injure in wrestling. A lot of guys, sometimes you don't even have to do anything specific, and it goes. If that happened to Psycho Sailor, he'd be in real trouble. But I think right now it's too early to tell. Ah! Well, actually, the, the MCL and the ACL and the meniscus are ligaments. And Zach is just keeping on the pressure. I just can't believe it. Those are some big words you were using there a moment ago, Ken. Just everyday words. Meniscus is an everyday word? Yeah, if you have a uh, need to talk about it. Oh, he's really stretching that now. He's stretching the hamstring, he's stretching the knee, and all the ligaments that surround the knee. He's working a very smart match right now. And I've felt that before, even if you've stretched out before a match, that, those muscles are being stretched out far more than they're used to. Absolutely right. And you, you don't want to be trying to fight if your leg doesn't want to carry your weight anymore, I tell you that. I know that very well. And Zach is working really smart. As long as he doesn't get too into the crowd. The crowd likes him, he's feeding off the crowd and he's giving it back to him, but he needs to be careful in the way he gives it back to him. And that's, he shouldn't mug the cameras, he shouldn't mug the fans, he should, he should pay the fans back by working over Psycho Sailor and, and getting a win. You know, I actually completely agree with you there. That's one of the things I dislike the most about Zach Winters is how he panders to the fans. I have to admit, though, so far he has been in total control of this match. The Psycho Sailor has not been able to mount any kind of offense. This is surprising me. And now he's doing some work on the ankle there. That, will, that twists the ankle and the knee. And if he continues with it, will also affect the hip. Sailor's into the ropes now. And Sailor trying to take a moment to rest there. I mean, instead of staying in there and fighting. Hey, there's nothing wrong with taking a momentary break. He's got a 10 count. That's written yeah. right in the rules. Come on now, Tubbs. If the, if the rules were reversed, he'd be crying foul that Zach was wasting time outside the ring. I, I know you're baloney already. Well, that's because Zach's a coward. He seems to be only the only one in the ring, I, so I don't see him as being a coward at all. I think the fans are intelligent enough to see right through. Well, when you have somebody like Big Vicious over the back door watching every movement, I'd have a lot of confidence too. Big Vicious is like having three whole men over there. Billy's over here with shiny 
objects. As far as they know, those things are license plates. I think they use them as dinner plates at home. That'd be good too. Psycho finally getting in a little bit of offense here. Shoots him off, here we go. Oh, that was a nasty clothesline. But Sailor's still hurt. Yeah, it's gonna take a while for that leg to, to ease off the pain he's feeling right now. As he just steps on the face of Zach Winters. There, there, there's your hero, just choking Zach Winters and doesn't care. Well, yeah, he really doesn't care. Anything, any means necessary. Well, I can't tell if he's gonna throw up or cry. Now he's helping Zach to his feet. You know he's got plans. Throws him out through the central rope. And following him out. Oh, this is gonna be ugly. Forearm between the shoulder blades. There he is. One back, one back for you. On to the tables. It's hard not to be impressed with Zach Winters coming back from a couple of right hands from Psycho Sailor. That's showing a lot of tolerance for pain. Of course, he hasn't taken as much damage so far as Psycho has. In the over a year that Zack Winters has been here, he's done nothing but work hard, train hard. If there were a most improved wrestler in PCW, I would have to give it to Zack Winters. Well, that's not saying the other boys on the back don't train hard and take care of themselves, but Zach Winters has come miles from where he was. I'm proud of that boy. Yeah, one of the first matches I came here for was Zach Winters last year, last fall. So I have to admit, you are correct. He's come a long way. Nobody here, you can't say anybody here, is a weakness in our locker room. Some are better than others, but none of them are bad. Zach Winters, and now he's applying pressure back on that leg, going back to what he was doing before, showing a lot of technique, too. BCW now entering its third year. We're in a fantastic building, the North Portland Eagles, on, on Lombard and Exeter Street, just one block west of Portsmouth. You can't miss it. It's easily accessible by, by mass transit. And uh, fans, if you want to contact us, you can send us an email at bluecollarwrestling.com or you can call our hotline at 971-217-8BCW. 971-217-8229. If you got a question for anybody here at BCW, leave us a message after you hear the message at the hotline number or shoot us an email and we'll make sure it gets to the right person. Now Zach back in control. Looks like a half crab, I can't quite tell. Sharpshooter? No, I think it's the half, half crab, crab, but he's doing a good job of isolating the Psycho Sailor, keeping him from reaching the ropes this time. Psycho is really in a lot of pain right now. He's turning red. I don't think he would ever submit, but this is really bad. Psycho Sailor turns red walking around the block. And remember, folks, it's here every week, 6 o'clock. There's nothing like watching this live. Nothing at all. You can, you can feel the excitement in the air. Well, Zach went for another dive on the leg. And uh, the veteran, Psycho Sailor, pulled out of the way and maybe even caught part of uh, Zach's midsection. Psych Every Sunday night, like I said, every Sunday night, 6 o'clock is the bell, the door's open at 5 o'clock. Oh, and there's the, uh, the customary thumb of Psycho Sailor. That was a punch to the jaw. I don't know what you were watching. And do you think the fans that are watching this is going to believe you? What, these folks? What you just said, that it was a punch. And Sailor stood up and showed everybody his thumb. I know what they saw without my own eyes. What are you talking about, Ken? Oh, and right to the corner. Oh, here it comes, the chain. T-Rex is down. Zach trying to help him, but it's not going to do Zach any good. Psycho having a hard time standing there with his leg damage. He hit him right in the head with the chain, and Zach has got to be out. Zach is out. This match now is over. Psycho Sailor is going to wake up and what do you know? By any means 
was necessary. He won the battle and the war tonight. Now I gotta wonder where Big Vicious was. Big Vicious did not come to the ring to help his partner until after the dirty deed was done. That was just, just incredible, but there's your winner. One of my favorite wrestlers, Psycho Sailor. We'll be back in a few minutes, folks. This is BCW, Blue Collar Wrestling, old school, new class.